Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Hunt for Atlantis The legend of Atlantis began 2,000 years ago with the Greek philosopher Plato. Plato wrote about the human condition, he talked about morals, and he made up stories to capture our imaginations. One of his most famous stories was that of the ancient civilization called Atlantis. Plato wrote the story around 360 BC. If you know the real story that Plato told, you might not be so quick to believe this city ever existed. In his version of events, the Atlanteans were demigods, half god and half human. They were so great that they established a utopian civilization and developed the greatest navy the world had ever seen. Their homeland was a group of islands separated by huge canals, rich with gold and precious metals. There were also mythical animals, rare examples of wildlife not found anywhere else. According to Plato, the city existed 9,000 years before he lived. That would mean Atlantis is about 11,000 years old, a time in our history when humans weren't doing much except hunting and doodling on cave walls. He also claimed the story of Atlantis had been passed down for centuries by poets and priests. However, Plato's story is the only record of its existence. At the end of the tale, Atlantis grew greedy, and the gods didn't like that. The gods were angry that mortal people turned to immoral pursuits and punished them by sending earthquakes to sink their great city. So the big question is, did Atlantis really exist? Some say yes, and some say no. There is a theory that Atlantis was an island west of the Strait of Gibraltar that sank into the Atlantic Ocean as a result of earthquakes. Other discoveries point to Spain, Malta, Morocco, Sardinia, Turkey, Troy, and even the North Pole. It could be anywhere, really. Too bad Plato didn't leave just a few more clues. Number 9. The Sea Peoples The Sea Peoples were a group of mysterious humans who suddenly appeared in the Mediterranean region around 1276 BC. They came from unknown lands and caused utter havoc across coastal Mediterranean towns and cities. For over 100 years, they concentrated their efforts on pillaging and raiding, utterly decimating the Mediterranean world. They focused pretty heavily on Egypt, with their aggression being one of the leading causes of the Bronze Age collapse that finally came to a climax in 1150 BC. One of the biggest mysteries about the Sea Peoples is that nobody knows for sure where they came from. Most records of their invasions are from Egyptian sources. We know they came from the sea, they had huge warships, and no one could stand against them. It was only thanks to the extremely clever pharaoh Ramses II and his son Meremptah that the sea peoples were destroyed. The mighty Egyptians defeated them fair and square in combat, vanquishing them forever back to the seas. One of the theories for the identity of the sea peoples says they were Atlanteans, or at least the descendants of Atlanteans. Some experts have wondered if the Sea Peoples weren't the last bloodline of Atlantis, trying once more to dominate the world with their mighty navy. Do you believe in Atlantis? What about the Sea People? Tell me in the comments! Number 8. Bulgaria's Sunken City There are a lot of sunken cities that aren't Atlantis. Take the 6,000-year-old city hiding beneath the sea in Bulgaria. Near the mouth of the Ropotamo River is a submerged settlement dating back to about 6,000 years after Atlantis was supposedly destroyed. It's sitting around 12 feet underneath the surface of the Black Sea. Researchers aren't even sure who built it. The settlement came from the early Bronze Age, containing marketplaces, harbors, and residential areas. It appears to have been a pretty major hub of activity, and possibly one of the first Greek colonies in the Black Sea. Archaeologists also identified buildings that were constructed in the Byzantine era and much later in the Middle Ages and the Ottoman period. But things get more exciting still. In the general area, expeditions have revealed nearly 40 sunken ships at various depths. Archaeologists believe there was a construction boom in the area, with underwater ports being built across Bulgaria's coastline. But many of them, just like this one, sank for unknown reasons. It could have been an earthquake, it could have even just been natural sea levels rising. In any case, it's a miracle that anything survived at all. Number 7. The Pharaoh's Flooded Pyramid 
In the ancient land of Nubia, what is currently located in Sudan, south of Egypt, there are ruins of a lost civilization. The rulers of the Kingdom of Kush had hundreds of pyramids built across their desert realm. Many of them are still standing today. At the ancient site of Nuri, there are still 20 ancient pyramids scattered across 170 acres of dry dirt and dust. There also happens to be a royal tomb here that is submerged by groundwater. The tomb is 2,300 years old, and its entrance is blocked by water stored beneath the earth. Above the tomb's entrance is a collapsed pyramid, with its bricks slowly eroding. This is the tomb of Pharaoh Nastassin, one of the only flooded pyramid tombs in the world. The only way to explore the depths of the burial is by using diving equipment. In 2019, archaeologist Pierce Paul Kreisman put on his diving mask, waded into the muddy water, and went to explore the tomb. He went to the first chamber, through the second, then into the third room where in a completely flooded chamber was a royal sarcophagus. The coffin was still sealed with its heavy stone lid. The flooded tomb of the pharaoh is a perfect example of how history can be swallowed by the earth. The tomb certainly wasn't flooded when it was built around 300 BC. Yet as time went on, groundwater seeped through the bottom and filled it with water. If it wasn't for the crumbling remains of the pyramid above, it's very likely nobody would have ever found the pharaoh's watery resting place. And now for number 6. But first, it's shout-out time! I want to say a big thank you to Reed Tucker and Helen Hardman for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like these. Number 6. The Drowned Land of Seftinga There is an old Dutch legend about a sunken city that vanished in 1584. It's known as the Drowned Land of Seftinga. Legend has it the city grew to be the most prosperous in all of the Netherlands. The inhabitants grew extremely proud. Farmers were prancing around in silk, horses were bedazzled in silver, and the threshold of homes were carved from pure gold. The wealth these people achieved was utterly incredible. Thanks to all their money, poor immigrants began showing up in the town hoping to get in on the action. But the residents weren't interested in accepting outsiders. They would chase them away with sticks and let their dogs loose on them. It wasn't long before greed had corrupted the hearts of all the men and women in the city. Then came a foggy day in which a fisherman caught a mermaid. The mermaid told the fisherman that if he and his people didn't change their ways, they would suffer serious consequences. Then the mermaid's husband showed up and asked the fisherman to set his wife free, but the fisherman refused. This was where everything went downhill for the people of Safsinga. They had become too greedy and too rude, not unlike the Atlanteans. Suddenly, their drinking water started tasting a little salty. Fish were swimming in their wells. It looked like the sea was pushing towards their coastal town. Then one day, a huge tidal wave came that washed all their buildings away, sweeping their riches into the ocean. No one has ever found the ruins of the city, but its legend is very similar to that of Atlantis. This town could very much be real, hidden somewhere off the coast of the Netherlands. Number 5. Willow Grove Dale Hollow Lake is famous for its crystal-clear water. The lake sits near the border of Kentucky and Tennessee, but by no means is it natural. The reservoir was completed in 1943 by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The creation of the reservoir required an entire town to be abandoned and then flooded makes more sense than the opposite. The town was called Willow Grove, and it was purchased by the government in 1942. As you can imagine, the residents were not too happy to leave their homes. Willow Grove was a bustling community. The people who lived there were forced to abandon their houses, to give up their successful businesses, and to move away from everything they'd known just so the government could make a fake lake. But since this was in the middle of World War II, there wasn't much anyone could do to argue about it. The war helped the project be completed quickly, and over the last 80 years, Willow Grove has gradually been forgotten. What's left of the town can still be found submerged in Dale Hollow Lake. And so long as the lake never runs out of water, the town will remain preserved. In 1,000 years, people might even come across it again, 
and have no idea what happened to those who live there. Number 4. Adlit Yam Adlit Yam is an ancient and completely submerged Neolithic settlement in Israel. The city was founded around 6900 BC, 2000 years before Atlantis was supposedly destroyed. The inhabitants of Adlit Yam were primarily farmers. They used the fertile land to grow wheat and to feed their domesticated animals. But even farmers have to believe in something. The villagers were obsessed with their mystery religion. They built huge ritualistic installations around their cultivated fields. They had giant stone walls to keep out invaders and wild animals. These people were extremely advanced considering they lived 8,900 years ago. They'd even learned how to dig wells 30 feet through clay and sandstone to gain access to fresh water. But considering the entire city is currently underwater, you can guess what happened. The sea level began to rise and the crater Adlit Yam was built in was flooded. By around 6,300 BC, only 600 years after being settled, the whole city was destroyed in a flood and abandoned. Number 3. Atlantis and Ancient Egypt What if it was really the ancient Atlanteans who built the Great Pyramids of Giza? Not only the Great Pyramids in Egypt, but the pyramids from other parts of the world too, like in South America. Nobody has ever been able to wrap their minds around how so many different cultures were inspired to build pyramids in just about every corner of our planet. But there are some who believe they all have one commonality, the descendants of Atlantis. For this to make sense, we have to believe for a moment that everything Plato wrote about Atlantis was true. Atlantis was an advanced civilization 11,500 years ago, and they were destroyed by a devastating natural disaster. If we can agree on that, the theory about the pyramid starts to make a lot more sense. The Atlanteans, following their homeland's destruction, may have taken what few ships they had and spread across the globe. Some Atlanteans resettled in Egypt, Others traveled the oceans and arrived in the Americas. They then shared their architectural ideas with the people whom they found living in these places. The theory is that the Atlanteans used their advanced knowledge of architecture and technology to push more primitive cultures into building great monuments like the pyramids. What do you think of this theory? Let me know in the comments! Number 2. The City of Troy There is yet another shocking theory about Atlantis we need to talk about. Some experts in the field of history believe the city of Troy may have been the city of Atlantis. This is because the city of Troy, first mentioned by Homer in his epic The Iliad, had a lot of similarities to the city described by Plato. It was located near the Pillars of Hercules. It had Poseidon as its patron god, the city boasted a complex system of water, and it was rich in natural resources. It was also destroyed by a great calamity. There isn't any physical evidence to suggest Troy, the ruins of which can be found in modern-day Turkey, was Atlantis, but they do share an astounding number of similarities. However, the biggest difference is time. Troy did not exist 11,000 years ago, but there may have been a mistake on Plato's part. We know he wrote about the city of Atlantis around 360 BC. But what if instead of 9,000 years earlier, he really meant 9,000 months earlier? That would place Atlantis as being a mighty nation in the 12th century BC. That was right around the time Homer claimed Troy was being destroyed by the Greeks with help from their mighty gods. If true, it would mean Atlantis's ruins are somewhere on the Turkish coast. Number 1. Spanish Atlantis a team of researchers from the United States, headed by Richard Freund, believes they have finally found the real location of the lost city of Atlantis. The team claims Atlantis was really located in southern Spain. They analyzed satellite images of what they suspected to be a sunken city north of Cadiz, and it was there, hidden in the marshy swamps of the Doña Ana Park, that they came across what appeared to be the ruins of an ancient city. The team used all the technology at their disposal to make the find. They used digital mapping, ground radar, and underwater tech to survey the potential site. What they found were a series of memorial cities, which Richard says were built by refugees from Atlantis. After their great city was decimated by a tsunami 11,000 years ago, those who survived fled to Spain and built a new Atlantis. 
The evidence seems to suggest there were ancient cities built on the marshlands not far from Plato's original description. In Plato's story, he wrote that Atlantis was located near the Pillars of Hercules, which historians now recognize as the Strait of Gibraltar. This matches up with the Spanish marshlands. But how do we know the cities here were built by Atlanteans and not some other civilization? The answer is that we don't. Richard and his team are speculating. There is no irrefutable evidence that points directly to the cities being constructed by people from Atlantis. The cities are real, but they could have been built by any group in the area over the past 10,000 years. Thanks for watching. What do you think is the truth behind the lost city of Atlantis? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and come back soon for more videos. Bye!